So hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna demonstrate you how to install a custom ROM on a Linux Z2 Plus. This is a step-by-step -step guide, so I'm gonna tell you each and everything from unlocking the bootloader, installing the custom recovery, and then flashing the zip files with the custom. ROM. I'm gonna tell you each and everything, each and every step in detail, so that you don't get stuck anywhere. So uh, we'll begin with unlocking the bootloader first. So for unlocking the bootloader of the device, you have to send a request to the Zook site. Uh, so this is how you get uh, the boot unlock bootloader image for your Lenovo Z2 Plus. So I will give the link of this site from where you get the bootloader file. Just and be sure you have to log in into this site to get the bootloader bootloader image. Otherwise you won't get it and uh, there is a site from where you can uh, make the account i will give the link of this site also but this site doesn't really work i have been like trying a lot and i was not successful at all i will give you the link and you give it a try and you just tell me in the comment that you got successful uh, making account from this site i'll tell you how i made the account uh, just go into the login and here there you will see these two small icons so these are the micro blogging sites of china and you can log into using these also so i just went into this uh, orange one the map you will get it like this just click in the registration and it will take you to the registration where you can select the country india and with, with the help of your phone number you can make an account it's very easy you will make your account instantly and then you can log in to uh, in the zoo profile with the help of that, that account so now next what to do you have to select the model as z2 and enter the serial number of your phone and how do you get to the serial number uh, in your phone just go to the settings and in settings go to about and in about there is status so uh, go to the status and uh, there you will find the serial number so if it's an eight digit serial number just simply enter the serial number if it's a seven digit simple uh, serial number just add a zero at the end and if it's a six digit serial number so you have to end two zero at the end that's you enter the serial number like xyz something okay and enter your email number here just uh, check the two boxes and click submit and if you are logged in and your account is verified and all you will get the bootloader image like this i got uh, uh, the mail from the dev at the zoop.com so this is the unlock bootloader image of my phone just download it okay now next for flashing this bootloader image you need the minimal adb uh, minimal adb and fast boot i will uh, give the link to download this just download it and extract the files and uh, place it somewhere so inside this you have to play it, place the unlock bootload, bootloader image of your uh, Lenovo Z2 Plus and also uh, we, uh, we, we, I will also tell you how to flash the custom recovery the TWRP so uh, just download that also I will give you the link how to download the TWRP recovery you can go to the TWRP site and in the devices you can go for the Lenovo Z2 Plus and you can download the latest TWRP recovery this IMG files just download it and download and place it in the same ADB folder and just shorten the name to TWRP it will be easier that way to flash it okay so after you have done with that just go to uh, the settings panel of your phone and uh, enable the developer option I see I'm already a developer so if you're not just enable the developer option and uh, in, the, in the developer or, and then in the advanced settings you will find the developer option and under developer option you have to enable the USB debugging this is very important otherwise you won't be able to do anything just enable the USB debugging okay and uh, one great thing with the Lenovo Z2 Plus is that as soon as you uh, connect the device to the laptop it will give you uh, an set up to install the drivers so just install the drivers and connect the uh, see here you get the uh, usb driver setup so just install all the drivers okay so next what you want to do is open that uh, minimal adb and fastboot folder your device is connected just press shift and right click here you will get open command window here okay so if you want to check if your device is connected properly or not just type adb devices and it's checking okay so it has got the device but it's showing unauthorized okay now to deal with this unauthorized thing what you do is simply when it asks on your phone allow usb debugging just click always and okay so yeah now it uh, has actually allowed the debugging and now when you will type adv devices 
yeah it will show device as you can see here instead of unauthorized so you are very good to go now just type adb reboot boot loader now you will see that your device is restarted and it looks something like that as you can see uh, in the device stair at the last it is showing unlocked in my phone but in your phone it, your uh, Lenovo Z2 plus it will show as locked so now what next you have to do is there are certain commands which you have to copy and paste like this first command which I have written over here let me focus uh, yeah you can see this first fast boot flash unlock boot the image just copy and paste this command I will give them in the description it will uh, make sure that your unlock boot loader image is in the same folder where minimal and adb and fast boot okay so just copy and paste this command and it will fl uh, flash the image and then next type this command fast boot oem unlock go and press enter you have to just copy this command and just by typing these two command you will be able to unlock your boot loader so uh, one thing i'm going to tell you here that unlocking the bootloader voids your warranty and it's going to completely wipe your data so everything on your phone will be completely wiped so just back up each and everything before unlocking the bootloader your device device will be like as fresh and new it will be factory reset so you're gonna lose everything and as, as soon as you enter these two commands now once you have uh, uh, unlocked the bootloader the uh, phone will reboot uh, it will be like a brand new so you have to enable the usb debugging again so now what you have to do go to the uh, again in, in, uh, enable the developers option and again enable the usb debugging and again follow the same procedure for going to the bootloader like again type the adb reboot bootloader and again you will uh, go to the bootloader screen and this time we are going to flash the twrp recovery so make sure you have the twrp recovery the file which i showed you earlier how to download just name it twrp and whatever you want to name it just name uh, put the file here in the same folder and uh, and yes so this is the command to flash the recovery so i will just put this command in the uh, notes below and uh, just copy this command don't forget to remove the semicolons so like my name is twrp uh, so in the commands i will put fast boot flash recovery twrp.img that's it and press enter and it will show that it has uh, done it successfully so now i will tell you how we will reboot to the recovery so guys from now on whenever you will reboot your device you will end up with something menu like this and you have to press one of the volume keys here and uh, when you press a volume key you will see the options menu and you can uh, like have power off restart recovery fast boot so just go to recovery and this will lead you to the freshly installed twrp recovery just uh, not do anything here right now wait here it is guys here it is the twrp recovery so once you flash the TWRP recovery, you can do a lot of stuff. You can flash custom ROMs, custom kernels, and you can do a lot of stuff with this. You can backup, you can restore. So yeah, now I will tell you how to uh, install the custom recovery. But before doing any modification to your phone, like even if you are installing a 2MB zip file, you are doing anything, installing any zip file, please do a backup. It's very very important thing, you should do your backup. Just swipe here. I have already done. I won't do it again. Just backup, and you will keep create a backup in uh, TWRP folder, and you can restore it later. So, right now the phone it is in whatever state. Just do, do the backup so that you can restore it later if you are stuck anywhere because like uh, things happen like that. You can stuck in boot loop. Your phone doesn't start. So anything can happen while doing any modification. If things doesn't go right, the, the zip doesn't flash, flash properly. So yeah, you can end up on stuff like that and to uh, be on the safe side, it is very important to backup. If you don't do the backup, you lose your all the data. I have experienced it before, that's why I am telling you, please, please do the backup. So now once you have done the backup, uh, the good thing about uh, TWRP recovery is that uh, when you will connect it with the data cable, you can you will be able to access the internal storage. So just go to the Z2 plus internal storage and you will see a TWRP folder here. Uh, yeah so just copy this folder to some place safe 
okay like i have copied this data bro api backups okay so because the next time we are going to wipe everything from the phone so just copy every important stuff and copy this backup file which you have created just now so once again go to the recovery go to wipe advanced wipe and wipe everything system data internal storage because you are installing a fresh rom a new rom so i recommend you wipe each and everything delete all the data and i won't wipe right now but you have to swipe after swiping this you will be able to wipe and your internal storage will uh, be a clean there will be nothing inside it so what you will do next you will again uh, connect it with the usb storage so you will see your internal storage uh, and in the stern in the internal storage just copy the resurrection remix uh, and the g apps uh, i'm going to show you here i have downloaded the resurrection remix zip file and this is the g apps file so both we need to flash together so just copy these two things in the in the uh, new mpt in terms of storage right now in uh, in my video that terms storage is half full but you will wipe everything it will be completely empty so as as soon as you copy it again go back to the twrp recovery and go to install now when you will go to install you will see these two files there so click in it and then click on add more zip and then add the g apps now swipe now as soon as you swipe the resurrection image zip and the g apps both will uh, get flashed on your phone so i will show ne what happens next okay so now once you have flashed the custom rom and the zip file it will look something like this so just click on the reboot system now install for now and just don't do anything just wait so if everything goes well and so you will get a welcome screen of for the resurrection room like this congratulations you have installed the resurrection remix room if you have done everything correct till now uh so let us inform mobile data geo ask every time geo set up as new don't do the network for setup continue just a second next skip skip anyway next set this uh, so guys this was how to install a custom rom and i demonstrated it by installing the uh the resurrection remix rom